Hey, good morning, everybody. It's either Monday or Wednesday when you're watching this. We're going to go through a little bit of the lesson if you are asynchronous. If you're synchronous, you can still look at this, but I'll be meeting you on the Google Meet. So we are doing the famous Diary of Anne Frank play. As you know, the diary is actually called Diary of a Young Girl. The play doesn't have that title at all. Another change they made. It's called The Diary of Anne Frank. And here she is. This is when they go into hiding. And then you remember um, kind of the set. Here's up in the attic space. And then the family's down here in the common space. So if you can kind of visualize as we're doing the play, the way it would look. Um, actors are pretty much on stage the whole time. They're just either in black, um, blackness, no lights on them, and they're sort of frozen or they're on stage, or sometimes they're behind the curtain sort of making a change. We meet Anne and Peter. They they do not get along that well, but they are going to get along famously very soon. Um, Anna is precocious. She's smart. She's very assertive. She gets on everyone's nerves. She's super curious. Um, we know that she has spilled milk famously on Mrs. Von Don's coat. This is a big deal. It's a fur coat. It can't be cleaned. There is no dry cleaner. Um, so they're trying to get it out. And if you've ever spilled milk on something, it kind of leaves a horrible smell. And so this is sort of a big deal and classic of Anna, who's always kind of getting into trouble and dancing around and knocking things over, etc. Um, so they've had a little feud. Hopefully you've picked up on some of the tension within the characters. Um, Dussel now has come. Um, and wait, is this Dussel or is this Dussel? I'm not sure actually which one. I think this is Dussel here. And this is Crawler. Um, so he has come. Mr. Von Don is famously a little bit selfish. He's very hungry. He likes to smoke a lot. He likes to consume. Um, so he's a little bit annoyed that the guy has come because they don't have much food and there's nowhere really for him to sleep. Um, and his wife, Mrs. Von Don, um, doesn't think much of it. They famously uh, fight a lot. You know, they they have a very passionate kind of relationship, these two. Margot's very quiet. She studies a lot. She tries to keep the peace. Otto is famously, like, the per I always say, the perfect father. Um, Edith is pretty depressed. She's pretty annoyed with her daughter, Anna, who is very different than her. And that's pretty hard for Edith to deal with and just try to figure out how to parent this kind of wild child daughter, at least from Edith's point of view. So that's kind of where we left off um, with the scene. So today you're going to move forward with the scene and read some more silently. So let me just look at the lessons. So these are the lessons, guys. Um, wait, this is, this is not the lesson. This is not the lesson. This is last week's lesson. Aha! Here is the lesson. Okay, so today is Monday. I wanted to point out here, and there's a little link here, it's Remembrance Day tonight. It's Remembrance Day today, Monday, May 4th, if you're watching this. The night of Monday, May 4th, um, you should maybe consider doing the two minutes of silence. I know a lot of you have done that before. Basically, the whole country of the Netherlands stops for two minutes of silence for all those d that died and all those that, um, you know, fought in war, uh, lost their lives due to World War II. There's a little link here if you want to look a little bit more of Remembrance Day. But basically, um, the next day is Liberation Day. So you have Remembrance Day Monday, Liberation Day, which is a holiday on Tuesday. So let's just continue with Monday for a minute. You've been cast, right? And so you know kind of where to find that. Um, A2 and I are going to be synchronous, and so we're doing the scenes, but A4, you're doing this um, screencast, the video lesson. I'd like you to do Act 1, Scene 4, because we didn't get to it, right? So I kind of recast a little bit, and I'd like you to read Act 1, Scene 5. So I'd like you to read those silently, okay? If you are um, in B5, it's the same story, Act 1, Scene 4 and 5, for you guys. Um, ooh, this should say, yeah, Act 1, Scene 4 and Scene 5. We can just put those together. Um, and then you'll do the two boxes in the play versus the diary, right? So that is this graphic organizer that I've been checking. It looks like this. So after today, you should have six done. 
six, I believe, done in there. The chat is here. If you have any questions for me, please put it there. All right, so that's basically what's happening, whether you are A4 or B5, you're going to be reading silently. Now, I made some mistakes, right? So I had to do some recasting because I realized, oh my gosh, Act 1, Scene 3 is huge. I just, I had forgotten that, you guys, and I apologize. And so that took the full hour for us to get through that. Um, so it's a great scene, but it sort of messed everything else up. So please look and see um, A4 and B5, the recasting, okay? Now, some of it says to be announced. So let me just look at A4 right now. Uh, it says to be announced. So I'm going to fill this in. I just have to think it through again and look at the holidays again, and I don't want to... Um, change this again. So I'm going to be changing it a little bit later on. Um, I heard some comments from people that had been cast in scene five and now have been eliminated. <laughs> so I'm going to look at this a little bit more um, again because some of you that were Anne here are kind of disappointed. Now I hope you saw that I gave you Anne here, okay, in scene four. So I, I think what I did, if I recall, is I tried to take things that, I tried to take you and move you just to a different scene for the casting. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. We, we're stuck kind of with this one day on and then one day off every week. So, um, so for now, let's, uh, let's, do, let's do it as it's shown on this chart. And if there's some changes, I'm going to let you know how I'm going to change it, okay? So for A4 and B5, it's a little bit trickier for you guys um, just because of the schedule. So I apologize about all that, but, um, but I'm doing the best I can for you. A4 and B5, it's A2, B1, B3, it's super easy because of the schedule, but you guys, it's a little tricky. So I'm going to look into that and, um, and I'll do the best I can for everybody. Now, if you don't get the parts that you wanted, blah, 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 remember that you're going to be writing a scene. Okay, a scene where you, if you didn't get to play Anna or you didn't get to play Mrs. Mr. Frank or Mrs. Fondant or whatever, you can cast yourself in that role. You can do a scene and you can cast yourself in that role if you want. And I'll tell you more about those scenes and how we're going to do it later. But, um, but there still might be an opportunity for you to portray that role that you had hoped for if for some reason it doesn't work out. And I'm going to try to work it out. If you don't get that role, um, there still might be one more opportunity, and it would be to either be cast in a scene by someone else, because we're kind of watching each other and thinking who makes the best Mrs. Von Don or Peter or whatever, and or you could cast yourself if your scene is the one selected to go to stage. And by stage, I mean video. So that's coming, so don't worry about that too much. Um, we have six weeks left of school, guys. We're going to do finish this play, and then we're going to do the Romeo and Juliet play. So this is kind of a warm-up for that. I love Shakespeare, and I hope you do too. I hope you remember doing Macbeth in grade five, and maybe you've done other Shakespeare outside of ISA, or you just love to read it. But it's just fantastic, and it's nothing to be scared of. I was scared when I was younger, and now I'm not scared at all. And I want to help you to just really enjoy it and just feel the language. It's so incredible. So think also about this as a warm up for that. So if you got cut your part, hopefully in Romeo and Juliet, you'll get some nice juicy parts um, that you'll really enjoy because we're going to do Romeo and Juliet on video, kind of like we're doing it here, some on, some off. And then we're also going to watch some of the film versions of Romeo and Juliet, which are really cool like Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Danes that really violent stylized one and some of the traditional ones um, so hopefully it's going to be fun end of the next six weeks not too much work more creativity and enrichment and fun that's what I'm really trying for guys because after the peel you learned most of what I had hoped for you to learn before going to high school and aside from doing a full essay, which I had hoped we would do, but I'm not going to do on distance learning. It's just too much for you to do. Um, I'm, I feel pretty good about where we're at. And so now what I really want to do is just have you have fun with the English language and really enjoy yourself. But that does include doing some Shakespeare. 
So anyway, I hope this is good. I hope you guys are great and I miss you and um, I'm going to stop my screencast now. Until we see each other on Video Meet. Ciao.